Yo, what's happening, man? It's your boy, Nick Hover. And I'm letting y'all know my top five best records of all time. Coming from me. Number five. We got a goddamn Real Compton City G's by Easy e Damn, E, they tried to fade you on Dre Day. But Dre Day only made Easy Payday. All of a sudden, Dr. Dre is a G thing. On his old album cover, he was a she thing. Easy E, BG Knockout, you know what I'm saying? Dre stood the gangster, they went crazy. That's number five, top disc records of all time. Real Compton City G's or real motherfucking G's, however you want to pronounce it, I said. That's number five. Number four, I got Ether. I got Ether. Nice going that J. The nigga went crazy, you know what I'm saying? Eminem murdered you on your own shit. You a dead rotten faggot. You love the attention. Queen niggas run you niggas. Ask Russell Simmons. Niles went crazy on Jay. That gotta be number four, in my opinion. At number three, I'm going with the takeover. I'm going with Jay-Z. When I was pushing weight back in 88, you was a ballerina. I got the pictures. I seen you. You know what I'm saying? That nigga said, I don't know why your advisors ain't forewarned you. Please, not Jay. He's not for play. I don't slack a minute. All that thug rapping and gimmicks, I will end it. That nigga Jay went fucking stupid on the takeover. That's number four. I mean, number three, I meant. Sorry about that. Number two. Goddamn, I'm glad y'all set it off. It used to be hard. Now you just went soft. First you was down with the AK. And I see you on a video with Mission Lane. Looking like straight bows on. I saw it coming. That's why I went solo. Kept on stomping. Why well, y'all motherfuckers move straight out of Compton? <laughs> that nigga Q snapped on NWA. He went crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's number two. Number one, you should already know. Tupac Shakur. Hit him up. That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. First off, fuck your bitch and the click you claim. West side and we ride coming quick with game. You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We bust on bad boy niggas. Fuck for life. Best diss record of all time. It was just, it set the bar for rap. Like, niggas wasn't disrespectful like that when it come to hip-hop tracks until 1996. Tupac Shakur started that trend. He the reason why it's so disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? That song right there really made that East Coast, West Coast shit to another level. You feel me? They probably got killed behind that song. That energy, that song, that energy, bro, is probably why people died and lost their life. That's how big that record was. You did. But a couple of mentions that didn't make it, I'll say Dre Day, back to back from Dre, Dre Day from Dr. Dre, 300 bars of running from the game, Gucci Mane, you know what I'm saying, the truth, that one was hard, you know what I'm saying, it's a couple of them, let me know what y'all think in the comments, did I leave some out, or what do you think was the greatest diss record of all time, I'm gone, Nick Hover.